Right, tonight we have an AR uh, ML problem. That stands for the American Regional Mathematical League. Back in 2009, this is the individual problem five. They have like team and all kinds of different sections. But anyway, I like this problem a lot. It's a uh, nested logarithm. And you'll notice that the, the left-hand side and the right-hand side take on this form of log base B uh, nested, okay? So it makes sense to get this written in exponential form. Now, I, I don't know if I need to mention, I think we need to be B to be positive. Uh, and most of the time you avoid B being equal to one uh, because it wouldn't be very interesting. It would be okay, it was just, you would just have the constant function one, I think, except it would be undefined probably at the origin. Okay, so we'll put not equal to one, even though that didn't really come up in the formal uh, proof of all of this. Okay, so again, we successively exponentiate to get this um, in the form of uh, b raised to the b of a is equal to x. All right, so we are trying to find a value of x. And again, you just successively exponentiate base b to get from here to here. Uh, the, a logarithm is an exponent, and so if you elevate this to the b power twice, it makes these go poof, and you're just left with b, b to the a is equal to x. And that's easy to verify. Just try base 10, and you'll, this is an obvious ex, uh, truth right here. So uh, our given equation, we just substitute 3 and 9, right, uh, into, the, into these positions, okay, for b. And uh, we can eventually solve this for x. It's kind of a nice, I, I like the problem quite a bit. Okay, now, the main type of, what's really going on is exponent manipulation. Uh, the big rule, I guess, that gets applied here is uh, our, our good friend A raised to the M, raised to the N. Okay, you multiply the exponents here. It's, it's very easy to prove result from, uh, at least for natural numbers. Okay, so exponentiation becomes multiplication, which is behind one of the logarithm rules, not surprisingly, all right? And notice that's exactly what happened on these lines here. It happened twice. We applied this rule twice effectively on, on this line. Okay, now uh, let's keep going. Now, remember, um, what did we have here? This Three raised to the three that is equal nine to nine a, and so all I did was just write down nine to the nine elevated to the a, all right, and so uh, we did the manipulations here, but since three, three to the a is equal to nine nine to the a, that's where this came from because this is what we ended up right here. You see, okay. So again, I, I just did that rather than write it all down together. It gets kind of clumsy in my opinion. Now, the nice thing about this is that one property of exponents. The exponential function is a one-to-one -one function. So that we have the same base right here, so we can equate the three to the a. In other words, we can, if, if this wasn't a one-to-one -one function, you couldn't do it, but notice how we equate this exponent with this entire exponent, okay? And it is an entire exponent. I mean, so you see how we have it? Three to the a is equal to that. Y'all right here, you may be wondering, why did I put the dot there? If you don't put the dot there to indicate multiplication, if you just try to do the usual juxtaposition, it looks like it's 23, all right? So the dot goes there for a real good reason. I think it's legible, makes it more legible, okay? So uh, it's all very straightforward. You see, we, uh, we get to this statement right here by equating exponents. And now we divide both sides by 3 to the a and divide by 2, right? If you divide both sides by 3 to the a, uh, you'll get, can't, you'll get you know, 2 to the a minus a, or a of them will cancel with a of, above it, and you have 3 to the a. But this is what happens when you divide this statement by 2 and by 3 to, to the a simultaneously, okay? So we know that 3 raised to the a is equal to 1 half. But if you look right up here, we have... The, here's 3 raised to the a right here, right? So we have 3 raised to the 3a, and there, now we know that uh, 3 to the a is 1 half. Okay, so what we get right here, that this implies that uh, 3 to the 1 half equals x. Isn't that cool? And so that's um, more commonly written this way, I suppose. The two gets left out almost all the time, but the connection between the radical notation and the radical, the, the, the rational notation, rational exponents, 
and the radical notation is just like this, this one, this one. The one and the two get l left out, which creates a lot of confusion when people are first learning this, okay? But, uh, but anyway, that's uh, equal to x, okay? So uh, the answer is uh, x is equal to the cube, uh, the square root of three. Now y'all, you, you probably have already noticed the pattern here. Um, if you thought of this as, uh, the, the format here would be something like this for, for the answer. Uh, X would be equal to root K, and you could, uh, this would be a nice little general proof, generalization of this type of problem. If X is square root of X, all right, then you would have, uh, what, what would you have right here? If you want to call this, um, well, no, sorry, that's bad, horrible there, wait a minute. Um, we could have, uh, it, would, th it would be like this. The general truth would go like this, folks. Um, X would be equal to the square root of K. Okay. And then, you see, this part here would be K. This base right here for this logarithm and this part right here would be K squared, right? And I'm sure you can prove that in general. In other words, you could, you can write uh, k and k squared and go through, and you'll see it all just falls through pretty nicely. I don't know if you, I don't know if it's inductive in an inductive kind of way. Maybe so. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's that's the general truth. X would x would be equal to the square root of k if you have natural numbers k and k squared. Maybe it, it probably works for rational exponents too. But in any event, uh, this is the answer to the problem. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.